So yeah, my main goal is to just play mind games with everybody. Hi, my name is William Abney and I am a menswear designer who is currently on plan to attend the London College of Fashion uh, for menswear design and technology this upcoming fall semester. My main goal as a designer, it's probably not what you would expect. Uh, it's not for someone to buy my clothes, buy my stuff. Of course, that is one of my goals, but it's not the main one. My main goal is to get inside, get inside of your head uh, to, to make you think. So for example, when you're at a store and you see a piece of clothing that you like, and you say, oh, I, I, I really like that design. I really like how that lapel drapes, uh, the way that, way that suit is constructed. I want that to be something I made up and somebody else duplicated it. That's how fashion works. And I think fashion is a really important part of culture and it's more important than people might think. Um, and if I'm inventing these creations, if I'm inventing the stuff that is on your body, it's pretty damn cool. I read somewhere like on Pinterest or something like a few years ago and it was like, hey, like attention all artists, like don't be discouraged. The first year or so that you are creating your work is going to suck, it's going to be bad. Don't give up because the second year or the third year, it's gonna start getting really good. It's gonna start getting polished. You're gonna find yourself as an artist or a designer and you're gonna to begin to really find your voice and find your niche and in what makes you thrive. And I think I am at that point right now. Not saying that my previous work sucked or anything. No, of course not, I'm so proud of it. But I'm saying the thing that I'm coming out with, I am so excited about, and I'm so beyond thrilled uh, just to see everybody's reactions to the clothing. It's structured, the theme is structured. There's a story there that's not insanely complex. How would you define your style? Uh, it's definitely evolving. This time around, it's going to be more of a 90s grunge-ish type feel. I'm incorporating music into it. There is going to be typography attributes. There's stripes. Um, patterns I haven't used before, big blazers, um, 1990s menswear pretty much. What will you do next? What I will do next, I will go to London, I will go to school, finally. My dream is to be hired by a top fashion house and eventually create a label of my own. So this cricket helps me with my work because I've always wanted to do, ever since I started sewing and stuff, I've always wanted to put typography or put words onto clothing, but I've never really knew how. I started, I was so desperate, I started using like $10 like fabric transfer sheets that you could get at like your local store. <laughs> it was awful. It was so hard. I had to cut up the letters like individually and like place them on and like iron it was a mess. It didn't even look good. So uh, with Craft HTV giving me this cricket, um, they've helped me make more of my art and they've helped me produce all like a lot of the stuff that I've always wanted to make, but I never really could figure out how. Um, and so yeah, I'm really excited to include um, typography and text on my clothing. I think it's gonna look really cool. Um, and I am definitely grateful for Craft HTV.